Hi everybody and welcome back to Sonic Origins Story Mode and we're starting off uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the final game of the collection and we've got this really nice little cutscene here which is actually really nicely animated, it looks really pretty um, where after Sonic 2 the Death Egg kind of crashes into the uh, <laughs> kind of crashes into the floating island and Dr. Eggman finds the Master Emerald. Hi, Knuckles. He's ready to throw hands. Yeah, I really like this animation. It's really nice. I love that, by the way. That's really cool. The, um... <laughs> the uh, evil Sonic that Eggman kind of portrays him as. It's kind of similar in how sharp the edges and how straight the edges are around Sonic. It's kind of similar to um, the um, Archie comic kind of Super Sonic design, which is kind of cool. It's kind of a nice little nod. But anyway, we're starting off with Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And this time I'm actually playing a Sonic. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, stupid. Stupid Rhino. So yeah, ow! Fuck you. <laughs> We're starting off with Angel Island Zone, which I love, and here we go. I love this. This is such a... Uh, these are my favourite special stages in Classic Sonic. The uh, Blue Sphere, kind of... I don't know why I was having such a hard time with this. <laughs> I was not doing good here. I think I fuck up and then I have to redo it, <laughs> from what I remember, but... But yeah, the music is actually really nice. It's nice and catchy. Oh shit. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I don't know what happened here, I just started screwing up. Oh, oh, shit. Grab that one. Yeah, I'm really messing this up badly, but anyway. <coughs> Sorry, continue on. Yeah, the first one, you wouldn't know from my gameplay, but, uh, is relatively... Uh, yeah, I, oh my god. What am I doing? I don't know what happened here. The controls were so fucky. Yeah, so I kind of screwed up. But I got it right this time. Second time, I actually did, uh, did everything pretty comfortably. But, yeah. Music is good and it's actually a lot of fun. These are ones that I genuinely kind of enjoy kind of going through. And this is the only... <laughs> this is pretty much going to be the only time you see the uh, Chaos Emerald. Uh, me going for a Chaos Emerald anyway. I don't really need to. <clears throat> I don't really want to. Anyway, Angel Island Zone. Oh fuck, that didn't work. <laughs> uh... I really like Angel Island Zone. It's a lot of fun. Um, oh, so I will say that the, um, in terms of how it plays, uh, it's uh, got pretty nice level design, uh, and I I really like the aesthetics. It's a really pretty looking uh, uh, zone, kind of more jungle aesthetic, I suppose, than. Um, the other first zones which are more kind of kind of green kind of flatlands kind of look but yeah I do actually really like this uh, and it's a lot of fun no oh shit everything's burnt fuck <laughs> checkpoints so those things are checkpoints and uh, Basically, there are mini games that you can do if you jump into the stars. They're basically um, a way to get rings. Basically, I, that's pretty much all they're there for, really. All right, and of course, this is the start of the the elemental shields. This is a new thing for Sonic Three. You've got three types of shields. You've got your electric shield, which gives you a which attracts rings to you and allows you to do a double jump. The fire shield, which protects you from fire damage. 
and makes that boss an absolute piece of cake. And if you press A while you're in the air, then basically you'll do like a um, like a dash attack. And then finally you've got the bubble shield, which allows you to bounce and so you jump twice as high. Uh, and also stops you from drowning underwater. These are actually really cool things, which I actually... Yeah, this is like shit. I thought I'd just show this one off because this I didn't want to do this. But hey, fuck it. Let's go through and see if I can get another one. Another Chaos Emerald. I think I fucked up. Um, but yeah, so you got the Elemental Shields, which are a nice little addition. Uh, in terms of Sonic's moveset for this game, um, he's got one new additional ability. Uh, and that is the Insta Shield. Press jump. Uh, so if you jump and then press uh, jump again, it produces like a he produces like an a, like an energy wave around him, uh, or like I think it's supposed to be like wind or something like that, like a um, like a, a wind kind of effect. And basically, oh god, see I fucked up. <laughs> um, and what that does is basically allows you to uh, kill kind of armored enemies or enemies with spikes. So if you time it correctly, you can kill an enemy. You can kill enemies which are you're not supposed to be able to kill. To be honest, it's a decent enough ability. Oh yeah. <laughs> Something which is kind of nice. Here we go, bubble shield. Nice. I love the bubble shield. Um, there you go, bouncy. Um, but when you go in the water with either the electric shield or the fire shield, it just kind of goes away. Which is kind of annoying. But there you go. Yeah, and you won't drown underwater with a bubble shield, which is very nice. Yeah, I really love this track as well. Uh, the um, the Angel Island song uh, theme is actually pretty nice. Oh, that didn't work. Spin dash. Uh, and this is like... Um, the first time I think where they've really changed Sonic Sprite kind of a lot because like Sonic 1 uh, and Sonic CD had the same sprite. Uh, Sonic 2 I always thought was like just like a prettified version of the Sonic 1 sprite you know using that as a basis and then <coughs> sorry so using like the Sonic 1 sprite as kind of a basis and then kind of improving it. Uh, Whereas Sonic 3's... God, that didn't go well. Whereas Sonic 3's sprite... Um, feels more like... You know, it feels more like a completely new sprite from the ground up. Which I think it was, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's like a completely redesigned um, sprite. Um, so yeah, I kind of really like that. Yeah, I really like Sonic 3's sprite, it looks a lot nicer. And there's a lot more detail as well, I think. I love this. This is the first of like kind of a little set piece where you're kind of running away from the. <clears throat> Sorry, from the giant ship that's kind of dropping bombs on you. It's kind of nice. And you can see like Eggman coming around in the background, which is really fucking cool. Time for our Eggman boss fight. So, yeah, this is. Uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles has a different kind of setup in comparison to. Um, um, Sonic 1 and uh, uh, Sonic 1 and CD. It's similar to Sonic 2 in the fact that it has two acts per zone, but the difference is, is that in Act 1 you face off against kind of like a mini boss, so it was that kind of thing that was shooting fire and kind of bombs at us. And then you've got uh, then you, in the second act you'll face off against Eggman. So, yeah, it's kind of a cool little addition. Fuck you, Knuckles. You motherfucker. <laughs> now time for Hydro City Zone. Or is it Hydro City? Anyway. <laughs> God. Um, Hydro City is one of the better... is a phenomenal soundtrack. I absolutely love this song. It's so fucking catchy. It's very kind of, um, what's the word? 
Get off me. <laughs> Sorry. It's kind of very jazz bandy. Kind of big band sort of thing. Which I actually really like. Get down. Get down. There you go. Fuck you. There we go. Bubble shield. Bubble shield is your friend in Hydro City. Fuck. I'm gonna lose it. No. Yeah, and also from, I think, um, the little projectiles that enemies will will uh, throw at you will ba be bounced off uh, any of the shields. So. Oh. Glitch. <laughs> oh well. In terms of the level itself, it's actually a pretty fun level. Uh, it has a, a lot of... it's a very quick level, like, in terms of you can go super fast in this place. Um, I like the look of it as well. It's a very nice looking. Uh, it's got a little bit of the... Like, the brickwork kind of here reminds me of... What was the name of it? It was from Sonic 1. The water level in Sonic 1, I can't remember. Um, ah, what the fuck was it called? Metropolis? No. Anyway, you know. You know the one I'm on about. <laughs> kind of has a similar kind of look. Yeah, that... God, that area is so... That trap is such a pain in the ass. Here we go. Oh! That was me remembering that there's a special ring in there, and I don't want it. <laughs> and we're almost at the end of the zone already. There we go. Done. Time for the mini boss. Which is, uh... Again, it's a pretty fun boss. Damn it. Yeah, you want to dodge it, and then jump into him. Damn it! And then he kind of spins, spins you in place so you can't really do anything. And then you want you to just smack him and boom. Nice and easy boss. It's actually pretty easy as well because like the rings won't kind of scatter. They're basically stuck inside the ball so you can just pick them up pretty easily if you get hit. So it's kind of an easy zone to complete. Alright, it's time for this bit. <laughs> this bit's kind of a pain in the ass. Shit. Oh, I just kind of snapped into place there. Spin dash. Spin dash. Yeah, this thing will crush you. Watch out. Spin dash. Uh, oh, yes. This has changed. Uh, apparently, uh, if I remember correctly, it's a different... Um, I don't think in the original Sonic 3 alone, without uh, Sonic Knuckles attached to it, there isn't a box there, there isn't an item box there, but then when you get there um, in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, it gives you like a, an extra life. In this version it gives you a thingamajiggy, a, uh, but an extra coin. So, oop, these shark enemies are a bit of a pain. It's also kind of dark with them, because basically if they hit you, they kind of blow up and the animal kind of doesn't get out, so it's... You can just make the assumption that it blows up and kills the animal inside, <laughs> which is kind of dark. But if you break it, then the animal kind of, um... runs away from it and is kind of freed. So, yeah. Do it. No, I'm thinking later. I also really love these, these little like water slides, they're really fucking fun to go as fast as possible and to really get, like I say, you can get some serious fucking speed in this, in this level, in this zone, it's really fucking fun. I also really love the hands that kind of grab you and then kind of accelerate you. It's really fun. This is one of my favourite things to do as well. Spin dash into the, um, to the thing, uh, to the invincibility box, then into the spring, and then just crash through the enemy. It's so much fun. Oh. Grab me hand. Let's go. Oh, that was lucky. 
and away we go. Like I said, oh my god, you can pick up such speed. Fuck. I failed again. Those things are annoying as well. The hitboxes are kind of hard to deal with at points because, you know, if you go into them from behind, you've got a chance of... If you, like, spin dash into them too quickly, you've got a chance of... Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. You know, there's a chance... Sorry. There's a chance of, like, um, you know, uh, running into... Uh, you know, running into the spike, which will cause you damage, which is a pain in the ass. They're not as bad as the, um, like, the skull crackers from Sonic 2 or anything like that, but they're still a little bit annoying at times. Boom. Knuckles, you annoying twat. Stop doing it. I'll go down when I want. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. We're almost done. Yeah, I was like, fuck it. Time for the boss of this one. And this one is an interesting boss. And kind of difficult to... So, first of all, you'll come down here and start sucking you towards him. Trying to suck you into his propeller. Ow. So what you're supposed to do... Ow. You're supposed to jump above the... So, jump above the bomb and it kind of launch you in the air and you can hit Eggman that way. You can also hit him uh, once or twice as he comes down to do the, um, the, the sucky spiral thing. You can also jump on top of that and get cause damage to him that way. Yeah, these things I always found really fucking difficult to time. Oh well, got a lucky bunch of couple of hits in there. And boom. Like I say, it's actually a fun boss. <laughs> Hydra City is a lot of fun. The boss is a, you know, the, the the Eggman boss at least is a really a lot of fun. Plus the music is fantastic and it's a beautiful looking stage. So yeah. And now shoots off into the distance. That's something else which is new for three and knuckles. Uh, the transitions between uh, how you get to the next level, which is kind of cool. But anyway, we're done for this part. Join me next time for the next part of Sonic 3 Knuckles when we go through the next two zones, starting with Marble Garden Zone, which is not a favourite. I'll be fucking honest. It's not a favourite of mine, but hey, got to get through it sometime at some point. So yeah, see you next time.